Uh, my name is Andrea Watson, and I am in Field Productions. My name is Keith Lindley, and I am in Professor Chris Hansen's Field Production class. Um, field Productions is a film class in which you are assigned into small groups and once you are placed in your groups you literally start from scratch, uh, come up with a story, uh, then you have to write the script, then storyboard, uh, start filming, um, and then go all the way through the post-production phase of editing and composing and in the end we hope to have a short film. Uh, the name of our film is Prescription Confidence. The story revolves around a young man named Stuart. Our film is a comedy based on a freshman in college. Um, he's very shy and um, lacks confidence to the farthest extreme. His two very well-intending best friends sign him up for a psychology study where they go into the inhibition part of his brain and take it out. Chaos ensues after that and we spend the rest of the day following the events that happen um, to Stuart. Um, our intended audience is obviously Chris Hansen, our professor, but also other college uh, students. I hope they really enjoy the film. It is a comedy, and so I hope that they laugh at all the right parts and, you know, maybe a few extras. But I hope that they walk away um, very surprised that a field production class or group created this film. For the most part, the best location we could get is a university. We figured, you know, let's just let's shoot the entire thing on a campus. Therefore, we don't have to go uh, looking elsewhere for, you know, a beautiful scenery. We all got along very well, um, although being in group projects, there's always little things that you disagree on. So overcoming those were, you know, some of the difficulties, but we all respected each other, so that wasn't too bad. Our main difficulty was time. We just didn't have enough of it. Braden did an excellent job with the time schedules of everyone because, you know, we had over 20 cast members as well as crew and we had 20 shooting days and just not enough time and now I have to edit still and I don't plan on sleeping much until the end of finals. One of our sets was in the sub one night and um, Jordan, being really smart, did not listen to Stephanie when she said that we're probably going to uh, have too much on this breaker. And then all of a sudden, all the lights went out. So that's what happens when you don't listen to girls. Another funny story was that, you know, being film students, we use the resources that we have in the film department. So we're all sharing equipment, such as light equipment. And one night, you know, we're shooting really late. You know, I think it was about 2 a.m. And we get a call from another group who had borrowed our light kit. And they said that a light was missing. We could have sworn that the light was in there when we had it. They could have sworn that it was not in there. And it ended up there never was a light. <laughs> Um, some things I would definitely do differently in the future would, uh, would be the way we storyboarded. I initially wanted to storyboard the entire film out at one time, but due to our time constraints that we had, it was just going to have to be, I was going to literally storyboard as we went along, you know, a day or two before the shoot would happen. And it ended up working out, but in the future for continuity reasons, to make sure that our framing's the same, to make sure we're not pulling focus shots and doing certain things too many times. Um, it would be much simpler for us if uh, the storyboards were drawn out completely done in pre-production so you wouldn't have to worry about that during the actual process of shooting. And I do imagine that would allow a, a greater opportunity to work with the actors in the script. I have learned how much time and effort goes into creating a film. Pre-production is huge, we were always taught that, but when we come to set and we all know exactly what's going on and what's going to happen that day, things run a lot more smooth. The other thing I learned is to respect other people's creative ideas. Two heads are always better than one and someone would always point out something in the frame or throughout the scene that you know would make the shot a lot better and run more smoothly. Our group worked really well together, I think our film is coming together great. It has a lot of potential, so I wouldn't change anything.